Hello, 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 everybody. I'm Christy Darty, if you don't know me, and I'm excited to be here today. My Wi Fi shows it is strong and it's not showing strong on the. I'm going to cut out for a second. We have terrible weather, so that could be part of it, could be part of it. Um, Hello, hello. Tell me if you can see me and hear me. So I'm Christy. I teach hand lettering and doodling. I'm passionate about what I do and I love inspiring you. So Ms. Debbie, where am I blurry? On TikTok or on? No, on Facebook. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Am I blurry? On my end, I look great. <laughs> Tell me if I look good, if I look amazing this morning. You can hear and see me just fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, friends. I see some new faces and new names on here. Yay. Um, okay, so today is Divas and Doodles. We do it every Monday at noon. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Phyllis. I am a little blurry to Phyllis. Well, I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, I look fantastic to Bobby Joe. So that's what matters, right? <laughs> Hi, Don. I'm clear now. Okay, good, good. Hopefully we'll have some, some good internet. It, it looks like my internet's going in and out. I'm telling you the weather is terrible. Shoot. Blurry as in you can't see at all, like bad blurry or just, just a little bit blurry. Like, do I need to come out, go out and come back in? Blurry again. Shoot. Shoot. It's working. I'm trying to. Um, oh, the weather is bad. I'm trying to go live on face. Shoot. Blurry on YouTube now. Okay. Well, we are hanging in there for a minute, for a minute. We're going to hang it, hanging in there. Y'all have bad weather too. I know, like, uh, like, uh, oh, I'm on TikTok too. Is TikTok, is the, is it blurry there? Maybe someone could go over there and see. It's frozen on YouTube. Shoot, Ann. Hmm. Debbie, if I go out and come back in, what's going to happen? You'll still be here. Hi, Bella. Hi, Susie. Oh, shoot. I don't know what to do. It is like rainy, rainy, rainy here. Try and see. Okay. Hey guys, if you're just joining in, Christy's having super slow internet, bad weather. She's coming back. Just hang on a second. Hey, is it back? Am I back? Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Candy. Hi, Lori. Hey, everybody. Am I doing good now? Is it roll with it? She says roll with it. Okay. So I have some scrolling things on the screen. Um, today, my lettering tribe opened and some of you already joined. If you joined, say it in the comments that you already joined. I'm so excited. We have a lot of fun new new friends. Um, but if you haven't joined, it's not too late because we just opened this morning. So Miss Debbie has a link. She's going to put the comments y'all to be able to. Oh, shoot. The internet's going in and out. Anyway, um, so it's going to she's going to put in the comments. So if you want to join the lettering tribe, you can join and you're going to get free bonuses for two days. We have um, a, a big bonus where it's a seven day lettering uh, bonus, little classes. And then um, we're having a bonus this time where we're I'm going to give out a fall printable. And so with the fall printable, uh, everybody will get that. And then I'm going to do some doodling this week. Hi, Tina. We're going to do some doodling this week. And um, I have some free classes that's scrolling around here. If you want to take a screenshot, I know TikTok, you can't see everything. Um, 
if you can come on Facebook and check it out, we'd love that. Anyway, um, so take a screenshot of this. When it comes back around TikTok, I'll try to scoot it over so you can so you can take their screenshot. But anyway, so the next few days, I'm going to have some free classes for anybody, for anybody, but especially for those of you who are like, I think I might want to join, but I'm not sure. Mm, I don't really know her or I don't know if this is for me or it looks too hard or maybe it's too simple. It really meets all levels. Okay. It meets all levels. If you've never lettered ever, ever, ever before, this is for you. If you've been lettering for 10 years, this is for you. It's, it's more than just the basic lettering. You can see on the screen, we do, we use all kinds of mediums. We, we turn that lettering into a piece of art. Okay. So you want to be a part of this community. Several people in the comments are already members and we love them. We, um, those are our sisters. I, they are our um, lettering sisters. I have two tribes and I'll tell you more about it at the end. We'll get to our devotional in just a minute, but um, I have two tribes. One is hand lettering and one is what we call iPad lettering. Okay. Because some people rather do it on paper and they don't care about the iPad. Some people would rather do it on the iPad. Some of you are like, wait, I want to do both. You get a discount if you decide to sign up for both. So use the link there and, and sign up for that. And then you will. Thanks, Lynn, for following. Hi, Jenny's Craft Room. Welcome. Okay. Now, let's get started. Okay. I'm going to take this off the screen. Take this off the screen. And we're going to go to our little devotional. Assuming things for me to think about. Okay. Here we go. There's the camera. Let me transition. There is the camera. Is that the right camera? Yes. Okay. Here we go. So, oh, I got my mouse everywhere. <laughs> after this, by the way, I don't want to forget. If you're in my lettering tribe, we have a Zoom call right after this. And you are going to, uh, we're going to do fun lettering together. You can watch it live on Facebook if you can't join the Zoom call. Hmm, I just realized something that's not, that's, that's not very good. <laughs> I'm using my phone uh, that I used to use for the devotional and I'm using it for TikTok today. Okay, um, so I'm going to see if my Holy Bible will let me get on, uh, on here. I'm on my iPad. Come on, Holy Bible. You come on up here and let's see. So I've got the app right here, Holy Bible. We'll see if it opens. Sometimes it doesn't work on the iPad when I need it to, of course. Yes, there's going to be a replay of today. Absolutely. Um, so Holy Bible. Yay. Okay. If you don't have this app, you can put it on your phone or your iPad, obviously. And this is the study that we're doing, Passion and Purpose. And you can just go down to the very bottom and click on Plans. Okay. And then uh, you'll have this search box. You can search if you want to do the one we're doing is per, uh, passion and purpose. Okay. And we're on day 10. Now we only do it once a week. So it's not like every week we go through this. So we'd love for you to join us. So here's the devotional. This is huge. Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is a big to read. I'm not used to reading, reading it that big. Hold on. Let me make myself smaller in case somebody wants to read it on the screen. There's so many buttons over here. You should see this. You should see this. Okay, here we go. Okay, the best is yet to come. No matter who you are, no matter what gifts and talents God has given you or the degree to which you've developed them. And hello, yes, you have a gift. Everybody has a gift. Don't think I don't have a gift because you do. You may not have figured it out yet, but... Focus, pray, and it will come. No matter the accomplishments, the achievements, or degree of success you've already experienced in life, God still has more for you. There's still something to be and do. His very best lies ahead of you. How can I be sure of that? Because if you're in the right relationship with God, what eventually lies ahead uh, for you is eternal life in heaven. You have absolutely no concept of how fantastic heaven is. You may think you know, but anything you know is only a small fraction, if even that, of the way it really is. You have no concept of what it's going to be like to live in the near presence of God and to have eternity to do all he might ask you to do. Can you all imagine? I can't imagine. It's supposed to be so much more amazing than the, your best day here, right? As a person with a finite mind, 
and body, you can't begin to fathom what it'll be like to live forever in an unlimited mind and body. You may have experienced great love here on earth, but it's nothing compared to the depth of love you're going to experience in heaven. The same is true for joy, fulfillment, and every other good thing you can imagine. I'm like, oh, you would think nothing's better than having a grandbaby or nothing's better than, you know, the best day on earth. But it says it's going to be amazing. My pastor sometimes says, and this really hits me because because I love color and I love art. And he said, imagine the colors you've never seen that could be in heaven. I'm like, I can't, I can't even imagine. I can't even, how can anything be better than the colors we have that we see now? You know, um, thanks for following between now. And when you go to heaven, God desires to build upon what is and, uh, take you from height to greater height, strength to greater strength and glory to greater glory. That's his plan for every believer. Therefore, no matter what you've known as the best plan of life in the past is only a pro prelude to the next greater thing God has for you. Eliminate anything standing in the way of your pursuing your passion, purpose, and God-given potential with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Face up to deal with and overcome any obstacles in your path. Ask the Father to work in you to make the changes you need to make. Believe that God, God's best lies ahead, then get ready to receive it. Don't wait another day to reach your full potential for God. Okay, and then we're going to go to the next page, which is scripture. And this is Ephesians 2, 10. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And then the next scripture is the one we're going to actually letter today. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Okay, so there's our little devotional. If you are on here with us, you can share some of your comments. So there's a couple of us that have shared some comments here. Okay, that's our little devotional. We do it every single week, a different one. And after we do, after this one finishes, we'll start a new one. And uh, we always have, we always have fun doing this. I think, don't we always have fun doing this? So I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller so you can see more of the canvas of what I'm working on. And there we go. Okay. If you are new, if you are new, then welcome, welcome. Some of you popped on, you know, later and you might be like, what are we doing? What are we doing? And this is something I do every Monday at noon central and you are so welcome to be here and join us every week what happened i lost something i lost <laughs> i lost streamer for a second okay all right um the where will the replay be this replay will be right here on this page it depends oh 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 debbie debbie you're on youtube I, it's just on youtube so you'll just watch it on youtube but if you decide that you want to watch it on uh, Facebook, it'll be here. So replays are always available. Not on TikTok, though. TikTok doesn't like for us to, they don't give us a lot of options for replays. So you'll have to come watch it somewhere else. On one of the other great places. I can't get myself in position here. Anyway, I hope you're having a great morning. You know, there's storms here, but they're not so bad to where my dogs are freaking out because usually my dogs are not happy. Well, they're OK, but I do have my trusty green beans in case we have some thunder. And y'all, it works for my dogs. They think they think it's as bad as chips. They think, <laughs> they think it's not nutritious, you know. Anyway, so we just started a new journal or I did. I did. I'm sorry. Um, if you are new, this is the journal that we've been working on for. Well, I have two journals and we've been working on them for two years now. So Divas and, Doodle, Divas and Doodles is going strong. And if you'll pass the word on to someone else, they may be interested in knowing about it. So you never know who needs a word of encouragement. So that means if you want to share it, that'd be great. That'd be great. So anyway, just a real quick flip through here. We use gouache. We use watercolor, all kinds of fun mediums. So if you want to learn more about this, I think you should uh, consider joining us. Okay. The new one, you give your green beans every day, Kelly. Oh, they do. Mine love them. My mom's dogs are so, they, they are so prissy. They are not going to eat anything healthy. So two weeks ago, we did this courage. Um, what we did is we take the letter. Now, here's what we're going to do today. Today, 
I'm gifting everyone with the class that we would do normally in my lettering tribe. Oh, I'm going to have to get going on it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be detailed. So hang on, hang on. <laughs> if you're in my lettering tribe, you would have gotten this template that is in the, um, in, on the Facebook page or, uh, the, and it'll be coming on the website soon. But uh, that's what we're going to do today. It's a little bit more advanced that I wanted to do for y'all's like first time, but we'll hang in there. We'll do it. Okay. And then this is the second one. This one we did last week. We used washi tape for the, for the pencil. It was kind of fun and a lot of different lettering techniques. So the, so we just sketch out the scripture with everyone normally. And then we go into my private group for those who are paid members who are in the membership group afterwards. And then we all, uh, then the private group has access to this forever. They have access to, we just got a new member. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't see who it is, but it just popped up. Um, so anyway, today I'm going to do a whole lesson with you so you can see what it's like to be in our lettering tribe. And then if you're in my lettering tribe, we are going to zoom after this. Okay. We're going to Zoom. Hi, Melinda. If you've already been accepted into the Facebook group, there is a link up at the top and you will be able to join us on Zoom today. Shantae. Hi. So good to see your sweet little, little name there. Um, anyway, let's get started. Let's stop talking, right? Let's get to the art of the fun part. Now, this is a long scripture, so it's a lot to do today. But um, for those of you in my tribe, you... I suggest getting some uh, carbon paper or uh, what's this called? Graphite paper and you can trace it. Okay. You can trace it to make things go by a little bit faster. I'm going to trace it today. I don't really, I don't always trace it, but today I'm going to trace it because there's so much lettering. Okay. Um, and this is, like I said, just graphite paper or carbon paper you can purchase and it just transfers. It transfers. What I do recommend is when you get to this part right here, you look and make sure that it's transferring because you might have it backwards. Hold on. So we want to make sure that we have the shiny side down. Yep, it's transferring. See there? The only thing that I do not like about this transfer paper is it transfers some stuff I don't want it to, like just some extra black in the background. And that's frustrating. And the other thing that you need to know is that normally I use an erasable pen for this, but since I'm using the graphite paper, it uh, does not work with the erasable pen. I mean, it, 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 yeah. So whatever you write, you write. It's not coming off. There might be some kind of, if you, if you research and you pay maybe more and you find some graphite paper that you can erase, let me know. Let me know. I need to spend a little bit more money on that because I don't like the ugly little black marks. Sometimes I can cover them up, but if you do watercolor, it's really hard. So anyway, if you're just watching and you're um, wanting to know what I'm doing, I'm just I'm sketching out a scripture from today's lesson. And my tribe members have this template. If you don't have the template, you know what? My my uh, suggestion, and I do this in a lot of things that I watch, is to watch today or that I, you know, I see when I'm flip, going through Facebook, just watch and get an idea of what um, what's going on here and see if it's something you want to be a part of. But um, again, I don't always do this involved of scriptures, but it's the one we had today. And I was so excited. I can't wait to see you see let you see it because it's going to be kind of wild and abstract. This is pretty subtle compared to what it's going to turn out like. Okay. And, um, and I'm doing it fast and furious because I've got to get to our zoom call at one. Who's going to be on the zoom call? Oh, JJ, she's talking about the tribe. Thank you so much for talking about that. This is just a basic outline. I didn't even trace it right. <laughs> this is a guide. This is just a guide. JJ has been a great tribe member. She does her homework. <laughs> and Jackie, Jackie Cotton on here, she does her homework. There's several of you that like, when I say do your homework, like they really make a time to get to it. And uh, okay, this is an erasable pen I can go ahead and use down here, John. 
And sometimes I forget to tell you all the scripture. So here we go. John 15, 8. Okay, now let's get to the, you see on YouTube? Huh? Okay, all right, let's get to the artsy part. The artsy part. Now, you're thinking, wait, it's a lettering tribe. Why, why, why are you not showing us how to letter? When you, and you will, I will show you lettering. But the basic beginning steps, it's a lot of practice. So I have a class for you when you join. It's step by step. Here's the strokes. Here's the letters. Here's what you do. Because everybody's in a different place and you're going to have, you're going to need to practice, 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 right? Melinda, if, if you're already in the group to be the light right now, you're just, I don't know where you are right now. I'm not sure where she's watching from, Debbie. Does it tell you? <clears throat> okay. Here we go. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Hello. Hello, Dee Dee. Welcome. Okay. Now. Um, now I'm going to get wild. This is what I did on my, on my sample. So fun. So I did some wigglies right here. Let your hand just flow. Just let your hand just flow. It doesn't matter what they look like. It's kind of like sixties Bob, you know, <laughs> and then up here, we're going to do like another, uh, wiggly line. You see that wiggly line? That's that's just, and then we're gonna do some polka dots in here. This is all erasable pen, so it can be erased. Okay. Then on this side, we're gonna do. What did I do over here? Not that I can't change it, but let me show you all the. Uh, let me pull up the graphic so I can. I'll surprise y'all, but I'm gonna pull up the graphic for myself. How about that? All right. Um, oh, on this side, I did another wiggly line and then I did like a, a vine. So do a line for a vine and then do leaves like so. OK. I this and then I did some like kind of raindrop looking things on here. But every time I thought about doing this lesson, I thought, oh, I want to do it in gouache. I want to do it in gouache. I want to do it in gouache. And I thought, but watercolor would be easier to show everybody. But I can't help it, y'all. I got to pull out the gouache. Does anybody know what gouache is? It's amazing. It is amazing. And so, um, oh, sorry, TikTok. I mean, you know, I'm trying to get used to TikTok being there. Y'all are like, what, what's that in my face? Okay, there we go. Sorry. All right. And thank y'all for being patient. Hi, Sa Sadie. Thank you for answering questions for each other. Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. All right. So wash. Uh, we have a, 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 a special relationship. <laughs> I love it so much. Now, if you're joining my tribe, do you need this? No. Why is Christy showing this? Because it's fun to try new mediums. It's fun to try something different. And so I tell my tribe members all the time. In fact, can you guys in the comments tell everybody what I tell my tribe all the time? What do I say? What do I say? <laughs> this is a pop quiz for my tribe members. What do I say? You don't have to have everything that Christy buys. Absolutely. So see, Jackie knows. Jackie knows. Now, does that mean y'all listen to me? I don't know. I don't know, but I just want you to know when you join the tribe, you do not have, I am here to inspire you and show you new product and all the things. So um, the only thing you need is something to write with and paper. Okay. Like even Crayola markers are great because you're going to get started just a Crayola marker. You're going to get started and you're going to learn the basics. You're going to learn the basics, right? When you get going, you're going to have absolutely not. Yeah, Jackie. Mm -hmm. All right. So you won't need this stuff. But I, I do say, OK, there's Christmas, there's birthdays and there's all the things that my family never knows what to get me. This is perfect. So gouache. How do you spell gouache? G-O-U-A-C-H-E. Gouache. What is gouache and why do we use gouache? Oh, my gosh, I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> I mean, I have to get to finish all this. <sighs> yes, Lori says, do not, we do not have to have everything Christy has, but I still want everything. I know, I know. I know I'm just like y'all. 
But um, luckily, my excuse is I have to sh I have to be demonstrating all the time what gouache is. And it almost doesn't make sense. It's like, I don't get it. Why, I mean, I have watercolor. I have acrylic paints. Why would I need this? Well, this set came with a bunch of paintbrushes. Imagine there's a bunch of paintbrushes in here. It is kind of like acrylic paint and watercolor had a baby. But it's it's my favorite. The look of it is just so different. And you can you can reactivate it. And there's just so many benefits to it. So I love it. Now, it's a little bit messier when you first get it. It's especially messy because it's like it's like jello pudding. It's like in these little pods. And when you take the lid off of each one, it's a little bit of a hot mess. But mine have dried up a little bit. And so I think that's kind of a good thing. I don't know. I'm just getting, I'm trying to get them, kind of activating them, getting some water in there. This is just a spritzer. Any kind of spritzer works. I like the spritzer because it's like teeny tiny little. I don't know. Can you see it? It's just a tiny, tiny little mister. I got it from my hair lady, actually, but they, they do have it on online, too. Okay, now we're going to get out. Um, the, I'm going to move this so it's not in the way so you can see what I'm doing. But I, I really like for you all to see everything. So what I'm going to do is just make, make it uh, where you can see it a little bit better. I just also like for you to see up close. Why am I here? Oh, okay. Find something to protect your other pages with. I make a hot mess with all my stuff. So, so protect your other pages. I love this journal. It's watercolor and I love the size of it. I just think it's a really fun size. And then if you do my classes, then you'll see that all the stuff that I design, they fit. That's the template for them. So they fit this book, which people do all kinds and they do not uh, feel like they have to have this book. They just change, you know, they just use, use it for inspiration. So cover up any pages that you don't want to mess up. Um, so I'm going to cover up the left and then behind me, I'm going to protect the pages behind me. I'm just going to get this close to there and then it helps to put a clip or something. Kind of hold it into place. Okay. Okay. Now gouache. Oh, I love you gouache. See, I had all my watercolor out, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I love watercolor too. Don't get me wrong. But this, this layout just calls for this. Okay. Now you should see how much space I have to do all this. Not much, not enough, not enough. Hi DD. I don't know if I said hi already, but hello. Okay, so Story God is on there. Story God Deb, yay! I didn't know you were on TikTok too. Okay, that's Miss Debbie. Y'all love Miss Debbie. Don had a pen addiction before I found you on Facebook. Now I found new things to put on my wish list. Well, I mean that's not a bad thing, right? Wish list, wish list. That's what we're talking about. The wish list. Okay, I'm going to start with a little bit bigger brush, brush because, um, and we need you need water because I can cover more ground, right? I can cover more ground. Do I know what colors I'm going to use? Actually, I'm going to start with this, this uh, golden yellow color. Okay, I'm going to get water. I want to make sure the consistency, mm, you can always go back over it, right? So I want it to where it is the consistency of hmm, watercolor. I'm going to add, I love to mix colors and it gives them more depth and things. And sometimes I just go ahead like, like this page, I'm probably going to go ahead and go over my letters, okay? Because I'm going to use a marker that they're going to pop out of. But I want to keep it light enough, not add too much water, keep it light enough to where um, I can still see my words, okay? That makes sense? I hope so. I hope so. This is so fun. Is anybody doing it with me? Like I said, this is a speedy. Usually we do this part of the lesson, just this part, not the lettering, uh, in about an hour. And at that point, I'm like, y'all, I just have to make myself stop because I will keep adding uh, details and details and details. And um, you have to stop. One day you have to be like, okay, um, it's time to look, you know, and walk away and come back and look at it and be like, oh, I do need to add so-and-so or, oh, it's complete. I don't want to overdo it. So see how I'm mixing different yellows, different yellows and golds together. Or orangey, orangey yellow. Can't wait to see how this gouache looks on here. Okay, now 
Once this dries, we can go over it. I can make it thicker. We can change, uh, add colors over it. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome, everybody. So glad you're here. Now, this is wet, obviously, so we can take our heat gun and we can dry it if we want to. I'm just going to go ahead and go to another area. Okay, and so I'm going to do uh, this this back here. I know it's hard to see. Um, and you put these in the places that you want if you get these. Okay, so yours may not be in the spot. I put mine kind of like pinks and orange. Uh, I don't know what I did. I think I don't know what I did. Okay, so I am going to probably need a smaller brush, but I want behind this these leaves, I want it to be kind of a reddish, orangey reddish color. And it's okay if I get on top of the leaves. We'll just go over it with more gouache. Okay, who loves gouache? Anybody else love gouache? I know my tribe members, a lot of them do. A lot of them love it. Okay, who's a new member? I saw somebody sign up while we are here. And um, while we are <laughs> having our... Our class right now, I saw someone signed up for the tribe. So welcome, welcome. Tell us in the comments if you're a new member. Even if you have, I know some of you have already already said, hi, Ashley. What a fun group today. Hello, Brittany. Hello, hello. Brittany's in the tribe. She's over here on TikTok. Okay, now we're going to do purples. We're going to do purples. Different purples. I'm going to get a smaller brush. Smaller brush. All right, so this one, we're going to do purples. Okay, I'm going to get this lot, maybe purples and pinks. I know you can't see it, but believe me, it's purple back there. And then I'm just going to go, you can see that I'm not being super neat with this, right? I'm not being super neat. And and that's, a lot of it's because I'm in a hurry, but not all of it. It's artsy, it's fun, it's flowy. Um, if you've never painted before, this is the perfect place for you to be because we don't do perfection here. We have fun. We explore. But also, I'll teach you techniques. I'll teach you things to do. But this was what we call a junior high phase. You know what the junior high phase is? It's a little awkward. It's a little awkward. And not pretty. We're still unsure about how we're going to turn out, you know, in junior high. And so, um that's what we got going on here. I add a little bit of pink to this one, pinks and purples together for this little 60s vibe. <laughs> 60s, maybe 70s, 80s, I don't know. And then another color, make it kind of wiggly there. When we trace over it with a black marker or something, it really brings it all together. I missed a red spot. Oh, we'll go back to it. We'll be, we'll get back there. You want to sign up? Well, sign up. We'd love to have you. Um, we can put the link down again in case somebody missed it. But um, we have two styles of tribes, okay? Two kinds of tribes. And, oh, I did miss the whole little red spot there, didn't I? Um, we have two, two tribes. And um, one is iPad. So we'll be doing this lesson on the iPad uh, tomorrow tomorrow in my private, in our Zoom class, in our Zoom class tomorrow. So if you're, if you join the, if you join the, um, I'm sorry, there's so many things to think about. So many things going on. Uh, the iPad lettering, <laughs> there, there will be on a Zoom call. Um, and the link will be either sent to you by email or you can find it in the Facebook group. Okay, awesome. Miss that right there. So let's get some of our red back and fill that in right there. Thank you. I'm always misspelling something too. And y'all got my permission to, to show me because sometimes I don't even see it. I'm like, and then sometimes it looks funny, but I'm like, hmm, something looks funny, but I can't figure out what. Okay. Now this up here, I kept white and then I put black dots because I love, um, black and white, love black and white, but I really need to paint that white. So when I say paint this white, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> it's not super white. It's got a lot of colors mixed in it because I, I don't clean my brush a lot of times because, Hey, why not mix it all together? So this is my white here. 
Okay. And really, if you wanted to use this gouache correctly, oh, the, the brand of it is Hemi, H-I-M-I. -I. Welcome. You're not late. You're right on time. Now, can you see this? Not real well. It's just going to cover up that where it looks like we didn't just forget it and leave it blank. That makes sense. It's not doing too bad, though, as far as not being all kinds of other colors. Okay. All right. How are we doing? We doing good on time? We're doing okay. We're doing all right. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Lisa, she gave you the gouache link if you want to check it out on Amazon. I don't know if y'all are Amazon shoppers or not, but I have a lot of Amazon links that um, are affiliate links. So everybody wants to know what. Oh, I hope the Internet's doing OK. You love the tribes. I'm a silent member, but I'm still here and love the classes. Oh, Brittany, that's so sweet. Um, she's a silent member, meaning she doesn't talk a lot. She kind of watches and all that. But so you don't have to be like all in and talking to everybody. But if you love community and you want to make, make some friends and all, it's a perfect place for you to be as well. OK, you make it what you want it to be. OK, now we're going to do this bowl and I'm going to do like a turquoise blue color or we'll see what it turns out to be like I don't know why I did such a hard one <laughs> real today I mean it's not hard it's just detailed and it takes longer but when you first join you get access to the basic lettering classes we'll encourage you to practice and all the things so <gasps> welcome to the mini tribe, Becky. Welcome, welcome. So speaking of mini tribe, we have uh, two levels of tribes for each group. I wish I, I wish it wasn't so complicated, but I wanted to offer a, a different price point for people because not everybody can join the $33 a month um, membership, which includes classes every week. Okay. Or maybe your time doesn't allow for it. Um, so if you can't join that, that's 18. Uh, if you can't join the 33, then you can join the mini for 18 and you get one class a month and one tiplet a month. If you join the, um, the, the basic tribe, the standard tribe, you get, uh, you get access to classes from the last two years. So that's kind of nice. Okay, I'm going to color my little orange here. I've got an orange and apple and I'm about to color my banana, which you have to think about your banana. The banana is going to be a little different. We want it to look different than the background, right? So. So I'm just going to do as light of yellow as I can do. And you know what? Let's tie in some white in there and make it lighter. So you can blend them just like you would paints. Hmm, I don't know about this. We'll see. Just kind of see as you go. Yeah, that's a little too white, but we'll get there. Let's let it dry. We'll get there. We'll make it look amazing. Becky's excited. We're so excited to have you. You're going to love it. You are going to love it. If anybody else joined, let us know. We want to welcome you. Unless you're like Brittany and you don't, you just want to be silent. You can be silent. <laughs> we'll let you be silent. Okay. This does not look like anything special, but wait, it's coming. I hope I get to finish. Okay. Now we're going to do some leaves. Now I like to do, like I said, different colors of leaves, different colors of everything. Because if you look around in life, the Lord made uh, things with depth and dimension. And if you go outside and you look right now at a bush, a plant, look how different the colors are. I mean, I look at my, you know, everything right now, there's a lot of greenery in my flower beds. <laughs> oh my gosh, Debbie, they're back. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have some spammers on here, but she got it. She got it. Anyway. Um, but out there, the greenery, it's like a yellow green and a dark green. And the, I mean, it's just, it's so pretty to look at all the different greens. So, okay. So let's, um, 
Yes, yeah, she's trying to delete the bot. I thought she got it, but oh my goodness. Does anybody want to find love? <laughs> we can help you. Just kidding. Um, I'm, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we have a spammer on YouTube right now trying to get our attention. And so, yeah, we're moving on with life. We got Jesus. We got Jesus. That's all we need. Okay. And see how I'm just adding some darker kind of around the edges? Just adding a little bit of darker. This is a messy look. It's messy, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. Now let's get, uh, let's get to this uh, bowl. Let's do some darker blue around here so we can get, uh-oh, we're getting some thunder here. Y'all might hear some barking. But I got my green beans ready. They are ready. My poor dogs, they just hate the weather. It makes them so nervous. So nervous. Okay. We don't want any white, extra white places, except this is supposed to be white. But like where you can see some white around here, we want to cover that up the best we can. You can see I'm not even changing my colors because I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay. I feel like I'm on a, a, a show. Like, what's that show? Uh, it's like a craft show. Making it? Is that what it's called? Where they have a, a, a certain amount of time they got to get their stuff done. <laughs> You're loving the storms today? I know. I, I do love them too. As long as, you know. It's not scary and everything, but um, I I really was looking forward to this rain. Really looking forward to it. Okay, I'm going to add some more. I need more water, lots more water. So we're looking at the thickness of maybe a little bit thicker than if you were watercoloring. Well, I know watercoloring, you can get different thickness too, but you can feel this has, it's like paint. It's Hemi, H-I-M-I, -I, gouache. G O U A C H E. I feel so special that I know how to spell that. G O U A C H E. I was like, I am going to learn the spelling of this so I can tell people. I'm just at making this a little bit more opaque. And that's the thing about this you can make it opaque or you can make it translucent. So we're making it a little bit more opaque not as see-through as it was, but that doesn't mean I will with everything. I'm just going to show you how you can get some good coverage here. My spelling today is so impressive. <laughs> I know, right? Sometimes we have good days, don't we? <laughs> we all have good days sometimes. Uh, you've been praying for the rain for a couple of months. I know. I know you have been, JJ. Um, JJ was... She was part of an area that got some bad fires and some people lost their houses. It was very sad. So hopefully, is it raining there today? I'm just, again, adding a little bit thicker on top of this. Do you see how it's better coverage now? Let me get you over here so you can see. Oops, I got right in front of the camera. You see it's better coverage now. What did I just do? There we go. There we go. Okay. And so you can see right here, it's not as covered, but I had like a little bit of pink on my brush and I just covered over that with the pink because I wanted to, but I didn't have to, but I wanted to. But you want to make it look like it, it was meant to be there, not like you just dotted it. So... Keep that in mind too. And I'm going to go to this lighter pink color. And I'm going to cover up some of that. And then here, I might put some of that light pink on top of that too. Top of that. So, if you just joined. Hello, hello. We're glad you're here. I'm Christy Darty. I teach lettering and doodling. And I'm passionate about um, encouraging others to do the same that um, everybody is capable and uh, I teach it. So that makes you feel a lot. Would you step by step? So hopefully that's helpful right now. You're seeing the junior high phase where it's kind of awkward. 
It's all right. We all had to go through that, didn't we? I don't want to go back there. Maybe to other places, but not not back there. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take where I am today. Even though I'm 50 years old, I'll take that over uh, junior high. Right. I don't want to go th back through all that. Wear a girl threw gum in my hair. I actually had gum thrown in my hair in high school, too. At the football game, threw it down the stadium into my hair. Isn't that crazy? I just had to act like nothing happened. <laughs> what do you do? Um, let's see what else happened awkwardly in junior high. I had a crush on this boy. Oh, my gosh. Do you remember the junior high crushes? Oh, my first crush, my, my quote boyfriend that I never talked to in person. He, he um, gave me a Valentine and that was like the best thing ever. I even have it. I can tell you what it looks like. <laughs> oh, we got someone who just signed up for the tribe. It doesn't tell me who it is. So you'll have to tell us because um, you have to give permission to StreamYard to tell us who you are. And that's up in the, uh, up in the, Joined iPad, Cassie. Yes, you did. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anyway, just time out junior high awkward stuff while we make this junior high awkward artwork at the moment. Okay. Again, everything's going to pop out once we get our black marker to trace. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm losing power. We can't have that. Oh, you're frozen on TikTok. Are you, hang on. Okay, I hope that's better, Brittany, because, oh, you are frozen. Huh. Oh, we're frozen everywhere. Hold up, hold up, hold up. One moment. I don't understand, but it's okay. It happens. These things happen. I'm going to try to get the camera back connected because it, sometimes it disconnects. Yay, we're back. Hang on, we're back, but that's in your way. There we go. Okay, okay. Thank you, Brittany. That uh, helps. Uh, that helped just letting me know that. Okay, how's everybody doing? Are we doing? We're having fun yet? We're having fun yet? One reason my uh, sometimes my phone freezes on TikTok is because the forget to charge it. You have to just plug it in. Okay, Granberry got seven inches of rain. Oh, I'm so happy for y'all. Thanks for sharing that with us. Okay, let's add a little bit of green because greens and blues are heavenly together. We're going to add a little bit of green right here just for funsies. For funsies. And then I'm just putting water on my brush right now because I'm kind of blending it together. Because remember, gouache reactivates. It reactivates a little bit more water. And then I'm going to kind of blend that uh, darker together. So anyway, all right. What do we want to do with this background? I kind of want to do something to it. What do I want to do to it, though? Oreo. Oreo. Okay. Any ideas? I'll add a little bit of this. Mm, oh, I already did that. Orange, orange. Some more orange, orange. This reminds me of a one that we've already done that had kind of this mustardy background, and I kind of want it different. I don't want it the same like that. So I'm going to add some orange. Add some water to kind of blend it out. And my sample that I'm doing for the iPad group is actually orange. Oh, Dana, Dana, woohoo, welcome, welcome. That's exciting. Lots of new friends joining. Okay, if y'all did not do our uh, sweet treat um, party, it was so fun. And you can still sign up for it. We've already done the lives, but you just watch the replays. It was so fun. I'll have to show you in a minute what we did. Um, and, uh, we, I, we just had a lot of fun. It was fun um, having so many people participate and seem to be enjoying themselves. 
sometimes you just need the right brush and I don't feel like I ever have the right paintbrush that I need. That's all right. Because uh, painting's not my, my first, I mean, I love painting, don't get me wrong. But this is uh, more focusing on lettering. So I haven't, I haven't invested in, you know, amazing brushes. Okay. This is better having this orange here. If that stays white, I'm going to be shocked. Okay, what if I try to do some texture right now? I'm going to try to do some texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. I really want a paper towel, though. How are we doing on time? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to dab. And I'm just going to make some texture on here. See how that's pulling that up? I'm trying to just do the orange part. Okay, what I'm going to have to do, y'all, is I'm just going to have to finish it. I could finish it on a live. I could finish it on a live because I have, did y'all see the live classes I have coming up? Let me see because I don't remember what times I'm doing them. Sorry, TikTok. Hold on. Go away. Why are you still on the computer screen? Okay. Um, the times that I have for the classes, I'll just put it, I'll just put it on the screen right now. The slideshow thing. Okay. What I'm going to do is, oh, you can't see it. Um, there we go. Take a screenshot if you need to. So today is obviously Monday. We're doing our Devos and Doodles. Tomorrow's Tuesday at 10 a.m. I will work on this. How does that sound? Would y'all like that? We come back and we kind of try to finish this up so it's so we don't leave it like unfinished. What do y'all think? Tell me in the comments because I got to go be with my, um, I got more, more art to teach today with my, um, my members right now. So if you're watching and you have no idea what's going on, Welcome. We're glad to have you. I teach lettering and doodling. And every Monday at, at noon, we do uh, on Mondays, Devos and Doodles. And that's what we're kind of finishing up today. So, but I have a hand lettering tribe. I teach and we have a membership group and it's open today. It only opens twice a year. It's open today through Thursday. But you want to join now because you get the bonus seven day class. Um, and uh, that will be fun because it's it's for the first 40. 48 hours. Okay. I'm going to come back live tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, see the graphic here that it, we're, I'm going to do the um, screensaver for the iPad. Okay. And so if you join, you also get this fall printable and I'm going to do some of the printable stuff too, but I'll see you tomorrow. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. We will do our, wait, no, that's yeah. We will do this tomorrow at 10 a.m. We'll finish this up at 10 a.m. Does that make sense? Is it, this is what my mom says. Is it as clear as mud? Is it as clear as mud? Probably. Okay, I'm heading to Zoom. Ziggy, stop. Ziggy, stop. I'm heading to Zoom right now. I will see you guys over there. If you are uh, in my tribe and you want to follow along with what I'm doing um, and you have watercolors, bring your watercolors. I'm just going to show you some samples of things to do. Please don't feel like you need to have watercolors to do this. I'm just going to show you some fun things you can do with lettering and watercoloring, okay? Love you guys. See you tomorrow at 10 Central. Yes, yes. Thank you for reminding us of that, KB. 10 Central. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.